This person is Ronald Carter. Thank you, Ronald Carter, a longtime resident. I've been in the city for 58 years now. I graduated from Sheridan School System and uh, stayed in the city and worked here for 36 years, retiring as the fire chief in 2009. I've been on the board for uh, quite a while now and uh, think we've made some great moves in the last few years. I think we have a ways to go yet. And the biggest thing we have as a challenge is finding a superintendent to keep us moving in that forward direction. So that's my goal is to start with the superintendent and keep our achievement moving in a forward direction. Thank you. Thank you. Daniel Stang. Thank you. Uh, my name is Daniel Charles Stang. I um, have been a, all my life in Sheridan. My uh, grandfather built a home here in 1959. Um, I purchased and live in the home since 2005. I'm here with my wife, 20 years, we've been married. Um, we have uh, five children, I have two from before I met my wife, and uh, my mother graduated from Sheridan in 1968. Uh, my oldest daughter graduated in 2009, the first year of SOAR Academy, uh, which is a great school, and I had a chance to visit there recently, so thank you. Um, you know, my uh, attendance at Sheridan was brief because when my grandmother died, I lived in the home and I went to Sheridan Middle School, but I moved back into Jeffco schools. Um, I've had a very colorful history in Sheridan, gotten to know a lot of people around here, and I have a, a very outward um, uh, personality. For the last 10 years, and right after I first moved into Sheridan, I began to work for a nonprofit community development agency. It's called the Sisters of Color United for Education. And as I started as a program director in there, I did a lot of work with injection drug users and moved into becoming grant manager. Um, I worked uh, for a couple years working with developing the core competencies for community health workers in the uh, state plan from the Affordable Care Act's uh, requirement to have community-based um, people working in the healthcare system in Colorado. So I've had a lot of chance to network, meet with people, and uh, make the types of, build the bridges that really are going to benefit uh, our community as it moves forward, and I think that from the School Board of Education, I would have a great opportunity to um, lend the skills that I have and uh, those networks that I've made and those bridges. And thank you very much and appreciate your support. Thank you. Would be Sally Daigle. Ready? Yes, go ahead. Good evening. Um, I've lived in Sheridan for 25 years and have represented District C since 2009. I have three of my own children, two adopted children, all graduates of Sheridan High School, all successful young adults that are currently enrolled in college except my middle son who is currently going through the grueling process of selection to the Denver Fire and Police Academy as he has tested for both. My oldest son is a decorated veteran staff sergeant in the Marine Corps and is currently on the honor roll at Red Rocks Community College studying history and aspires to teach junior high school students. My youngest daughter received a provost scholarship to DU, studying psychology and Spanish, working towards her master's degree in teaching. One of my adopted sons is working toward a degree in business, while the other just passed his EMT certification in Idaho while working as a certified nurse's aide. I attend CSU. I'm working on my master's in healthcare administration with an emphasis on leadership. I have three grandchildren that attend Sheridan schools and a number of nieces and nephews as well. I think I can say that I understand education pretty well. It's very nice to be here this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. My name is Carla Cuevas Flores. I'm a longtime re uh, Sheridan resident. I'm a mom of three boys and a local small business owner. With my husband, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'm running for Sheridan School Board for District C. I'm running because I want to represent students, community members, teachers, and staff. I pledge to listen, learn, and be your voice. I pledge to give our kids the best education they deserve. Thank you. The next person is Indira Guzman-Sayas. Sorry. 
Good evening. My name is Indira Guzman Saiz. I am a longtime Sheridan resident uh, for about 17 years. I have two children that go to Sheridan right now. Hannah is in eighth grade and Isaac is in fourth grade. Um, I have been working with the Colorado Trust as a community organizer, uh, working on a health equity plan. And I've spoken to over three or 400 residents of Sheridan. And I've learned about the many needs and all the assets that our community has and our school district being one of the greatest assets that we have in our community. Um, Sheridan, I've also talked to a lot of parents when I was out talking to people, asking them to sign my petition, and I learned that there are so many families that pull their kids out of Sheridan uh, because they think that the school system is not good enough for their kids. Um, I think that if it's not good enough for my kid, it's not good enough for any kid in Sheridan. So I want to make sure that we bring about an equitable, excellent education in Sheridan schools. So um, that, that's why I'm running for school board and I want to be able to, um, to speak for the community, to be able to listen to the community, to have direct access with the community and make sure that we're addressing the needs of our community. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm a Colorado native. I've lived in the Sheridan School District for 34 years. Uh, my son graduated from um, Sheridan School District along with um, a few other family members. I have family members that have worked in the district. Uh, I have volunteered in the district for many years. Um, I'm, I'm a legal assistant and I work for a law firm in Littleton. I'm currently school director on the Board of Education of the Sheridan School District, Director District E, and I have served on the board since 2005. I am presently the vice president. I am seeking re-election in order to continue the important issues facing the board concerning, among other things, student achievement and the educational welfare of the students in the district, the recruitment and retention of highly effective teachers, and the process of beginning a superintendent search to replace Mr. Clough when he leaves in June of next year. Thank you. <laughs>